Hi, welcome to our how to video series on Centerprise Data Integrator. In this video, we will learn how to use a database table as a source and destination in a data flow. The database table source in Centerprise provides a high speed reader for the data stored in a database table. It supports multi way partitioning, which creates multiple partitions in a database table and reads them in parallel. This feature brings about a major performance increase for database reads and allows you to capture changes happening in the source data. Moreover, it also enables you to specify a WHERE clause and sort order to control and customize the resultant set as per your requirements. Let's see how it works in Centerprise. Drag the database table object from the sources section in the toolbox and drop it onto the data flow designer. Now right click on the database table source object and go to properties from the list. On this screen, you have to provide details to configure connection with the database. First, select the data provider from the drop down list. In this case, I'll be using SQL Server. And next you have to provide the credentials followed by the server name. Now choose the database from which you are going to retrieve the data. Test the connection. And when it's successful, click Next. On this screen, pick the table from the drop-down list which will serve as your source. In case where your table has a very high number of records, you have the option of partitioning the table. This will allow you to break the table into different partitions and result in increased efficiency and faster load time. However, in this case, my database table does not have too many records, so I can go ahead with the default settings. Click Next, and this will take us to the Layout Builder screen. Here we can make changes to the fields or add or remove them as per our requirements and customize our layout. Once the layout is ready, click OK. Now our source object is ready and here you can see that it has successfully retrieved records from our database. You can now right click on the source object and preview the data. So that's how you can source your data from a database table in Centerprise. Now if you want to load your data to a database table, you can do that using a database table destination in Centerprise. Let's learn how it works with a new example. Here we have some customer data stored in an Excel file. To write this data to a database table, drag the database table destination object from the destination section in the toolbox and drop it onto the data flow designer. Now right click on the database table destination object and go to properties from the list. You can select the connection details from the recently used drop down list or type in the credentials manually and select the database. Here I am going to use a recently used connection. Now test the connection. It says the connection is successful. So we can proceed to the next screen. On this pick table screen, you have two options. You can either pick table to write your data to an existing table in the database or create a new table or replace a table in the database. If you choose to go with the first option, then there's a truncate table option next to it. By default, it is unchecked, but if you check this option, it will quickly delete all records in the table, making it empty for reuse. By choosing the second option, you can create a new table in the database or replace an existing table with a new one. Let's create a new table in this example. Another key feature on this screen is the data load option. This feature is extremely useful in cases where you have to load millions of records on a database. With the flexibility to specify the batch size, the data load options allow you to save time and ensure efficient data loading in multiple batches. However, in cases where an error is likely to occur during batch loading, you can make use of the Use Single Record Insert option. 
You also have the option to select from different bulk copy actions such as keep nulls, table lock, check constraints, use internal transactions, fire triggers, etc. Other than this, you have some general database options. You can select these boxes for field lengths or null values, disable indexes during load, and write the null string as a zero length string or numeric values as zeros. You can even use constraint based write or preserve system generated key values or use transactions. You can define ports to perform insert, update, delete, or absurd actions or use a single port for all. Once you have determined all your table and data loading options, you can proceed to the next screen. And this brings us to the Layout Builder screen. Here you can add or remove fields and customize your layout. Once your layout is ready, click Next. This will take us to the Config Parameters screen. Here you can define the parameters in the config file. We will cover this in detail when we cover projects within Centerprise. Click Next. Now we are at the General Options page. Here you have three options. The first option is Clear Incoming Record Message. This, when checked, will clear all incoming record messages from the database. The second option disables the processing of erroneous records. As in the case of data quality check, when we define certain conditions for our data, we have the option of passing a few records as errors that do not meet our criteria. This checkbox is beneficial to prevent duplication of records. The third option will prevent overwriting default records with null values. We'll select the second option in this case, since we do not want to process records with errors and click OK. Now our database table destination object is ready. Let's go ahead and map fields from the source object to write that data into a database table. Now click the Run button and Centerprise will generate a new table containing this data from source in the target database. So this concludes using the database table source and destination in Centerprise. You may also visit our support site for more information on setting up sources and destinations. Thank you for watching this video.